Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on the topic radioactivity and the subtopic for today is radioactive decay and nuclear equations. So we've already seen the different types of nuclear emissions that usually occur when radioactive materials are decay. So we talked about the alpha particle, the beta particle and the gamma rays. So for today we are going to see now how we can be able to show using nuclear equations how such reactions usually occur. So an unstable nuclide will decay emitting one or more particles eventually forming a stable nuclide. So the decaying nuclide is called the parent nuclide and the product is called the daughter nuclide. So the parent nuclide will lose or gain protons or neutrons to attain a stable neutron proton ratio so we said the stable one needs to be at least one is to one so there are usually several types of decay depending on the radiation emitted by the parent uh, nuclei so when you're writing nuclear equation we ensure that we balance the mass number and atomic numbers of the nuclides before and after so you notice as add adding and subtracting and but we need to compare the a parent nucleides and the daughter nucleus they needs to at the end of the day have equal number of uh, mass numbers and atomic numbers so knowing the type of radiation we can calculate the new nuclide formed and knowing the parent and daughter nucleides we can find the type of radiation so it can go either way you can be told to calculate uh, an unknown uh, nucleide like you get the mass number or number of uh, protons or you can already be given and then you are told to state which kind of radiation it underwent so nuclear reaction can lead to transformation this is a process in which an element changes to another via nuclear decay so you notice the elements you're going to be working with you might start with a certain type of an element when it undergoes some emissions or decay, it forms different types of elements because we say this is possible because what is happening, the number of protons might change in the nucleus, which automatically changes the identity of the element. So we will start with alpha decay. So when you're writing the equations of the alpha decay, a nuclide undergoes alpha decay has its mass number so the mass number will be deducted by four and the atomic number by two remember it forms the helium uh, atom example you can see uh we started with the lead with mass number 210 and atomic number 84 and then it underwent alpha decay to give off helium ions uh, so we have to deduct 210 minus 4 to get the value of x which is 206 and if in case you were not given the atomic number, we would have just said 84 minus 2 to get 82. So this is just an example of how we are able to use the knowledge that we already have from the emissions to get the unknown. So let's look at other examples. So you have this question. So now you see you have the product or the new daughter nucleides and, and the emission, which is the alpha. So we, ha we have to look for the mass number and the atomic number of the parent nuclide. So what you will do, you will say 234 minus 4 to get 230. So the mass number here will be 230. And then the atomic number will be 90 minus 2, which will give us 88. So the atomic number will be 88. We are supposed to add, sorry, let's do the addition. So it's addition because the total in the product is supposed to be the, the reactant. So it is 234 plus 4 to give us 238 and 92. So it becomes 238 and 92. Let's look at another one. So we have radium. So it's 226 mass number. So it forms and different types of element. But now we need to look for the value of Y. So if we, we take Y, we add plus 2, is supposed to get a total of 88. So we take 2, the other side becomes Y is equal to 88 minus 2, which is 86. So the value of Y is 86. Let's look at a few examples. So 
now in this case you notice the amount of the alpha particles are two that have been emitted so it means the value of x is equals to 230 plus 4 times 2 which is the same as x is equals to 230 plus 8 which gives us 238 so this will be 238 and then the value of y is equals to 88 plus 2 times 2 which is 88 plus 4 which gives us 92 so this is 92 and then we do another example so 210 is equals to x plus it's 10 uh, particles of the alpha particle and the alpha particle is helium ion with mass number of 4 and atomic number of 2 so it is 10 times 4 and then 84 is equals to y plus 10 times 2. So this is the same as 210 uh, is equals to x plus 40. So we have to take 40 the other side. So it is 210 minus 40, which gives us 170. And then uh, the next one is uh, 84 is equals to y plus 20 which gives us 84 minus 20 which will be 74 so our values of x is 170 and y is 74 so next we have the beta particle decay so whenever we are doing the equations for the beta particle decay so a nuclide undergoes beta decay as its mass number remain the same but the atomic number is decreased by one. You can see the mass number of the beta, um, alpha, uh, the beta particle has a mass number of zero, but the protons is negative one. So it behaves like an electron that is negatively charged. So you notice when you take 23 plus 23, uh, you notice the num mass number it doesn't change because it's 23 plus 0. But now if you take 12 minus 1, you get um, 11. So let's do this example. So we have 234 is equals to y plus 0. So that tells you y is equals to 234. So this is 234. And then for x will be x is equals to 91 minus 1 so x is equals to 90 so this is 90 the value of x and then we do another one uh, so 207 on the parent is equals to x uh, plus 3 times 0 which gives us x is equals to 207 it doesn't change this is 207 but for the 70, 70 is equals to y plus 3 times negative 1. So it's y plus negative 3 is equals to 70. So if you bring negative 3 this other side, it becomes 70 plus 3, which is 73. So this becomes 73. So that's how you calculate the beta. Let's look at gamma. So for the gamma rays, a nuclide are going uh, gamma ray as its mass number and its atomic number remain the same. But you know for the gamma rays, a lot of energy is also released in the process. So for example, if you see the, the chlorine that we are starting with is the same product and then gamma rays and also the carbon you can see is the same and gamma rays are emitted let's do one question in regards to what we have discussed the following equation shows part of a radioactive decay uh, so we identify the radiation so the first thing we need to see is is there any change in the mass number and you notice there is no change but if you look at the atomic number it increases so remember we said that is the beta decay that uh, that happens because what is going to happen is going to release an electron that has a negative one as the um, atomic number so that's it for the uh, equations you can get more practice in the app and get to see how you're able to uh, understand the subtopic so see you in the next lesson as we look at the radioactive decay series